Good morning, everyone. Let's get ready for school. How was everyone's first day back at school if you went yesterday? Mine was pretty good, just your average school day. Me and Ava aren't actually staying the whole day at school today because Ava has her toe fracture clinic thing. I don't know. Because she broke her toe so bad, they've got to put her to sleep and fix her toe. So that is what we've got going on this afternoon. So we're leaving halfway through the day, period two. Wait, does everyone else also only have four periods in one day? I feel like a lot of other schools I hear have like five or six or something crazy. I kind of feel like just using a mixture of these two. Okay, my bronzing drops aren't rubbed in properly, but I'm just going to quickly add like two drops of that. This stuff goes such a long way. I am so excited that my school's doing eight week term this term. Like, it is just going to be so good. And then eight weeks of school holidays. Like, that's going to be amazing. Since it's Christmas school holidays, it's going to be summer. So I'm going to be at the beach 24 7. Okay, I definitely added way too much of the love tint. I was going to get the Benny tint when I went shopping, but I completely forgot, so. But this one's still really pretty. Okay, time to do my lashes. And I'll see on TikTok this girl who found this iced coffee maker at Kmart. It was $39. Me and Ava bought it a few days ago. The coffee is amazing. Ignore how I'm killing my lashes, but $39 for an iced coffee machine, like, they are normally so expensive. So that's crazy. I just looked in the mirror and my bronzer is not blended out well at all. So I'm using the telescopic mascara. I normally use the MK Beauty one, but just changing it up a bit. I only ever put mascara on the tips of my lashes because otherwise it weighs them down so much. But I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye. Get ready with me while I give you some advice. The first one kind of goes without saying, don't beg somebody to stay. Like, you're going to look stupid. They're not going to stay. If they stay, they're only going to treat you worse. Just don't do it. If there's something that you want, don't beg anybody for it. Just work for it. Freelance, because it makes literally everything better. Nine times out of ten when you work for something and people realize that you're willing to work for it, they'll just give it to you. <laughs> the only thing everybody should know about you is your name. Nobody needs to know your whole life story or everything you've been through. They just don't. People will betray people to save their own reputation. Like, literally in an instant. So just don't tell anybody everything. Because they don't care. I tell my friends more stuff than anyone. But usually I just tell people things in a way that makes them think that they know a lot when they don't know anything. KVD Beauty sent me this tubing mascara. So I'm going to try it out. If something makes you happy, just keep doing it because the moment you do something for someone else, you're living their life, you're not living your own, and that sucks. The moment that you have a bad feeling about someone, no matter how close they are to you, cut them off. Because literally, I've been right about every single person I've had a bad feeling about. You could be doing something completely wrong and people will judge you, or you could do something completely right and people will judge you. So just do what you want to do, because people will judge you literally either way. The moment that you have to change yourself, for somebody else, drop them. Nobody matters that much. I have a lot more, so let me know if you want another part. But as of now, have a great day. I love you so much. Bye. Hi, guys. Bro, I never, I'm never able to say the word chillin'. Chilling. So am I supposed to say chilling or chillin? Chillin? I don't know. I just feel stupid when I say that. Yesterday, I was hanging out with Gianni. I was against the wall like, on that side of the bed, and he was like on this side. And he was on his phone and I was just falling asleep. So he picked me up and he put me on the other side. And I was like, why do you just move me? And he said, I don't want you to fall asleep. And I was like, I can just fall asleep on this side. What do you mean? And he was like, no, he said, I know you. You're not able to sleep if it's not against the wall. And you have to be turned to this specific side. Like, I didn't even realize that's how I slept. But I was like, oh shit, you're right. We want to make a couple's account. I'm just scared it'll put pressure on our relationship. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. You know those people that try to be like nonchalant and mysterious and like secretive? You know what I mean? I don't know, but that pisses me off. I hate when people act like they don't care, but they do. You know, like, shut up. I ordered a new tweezer man curler because I lost mine and I have to use this stupid thing. Okay, this is what I was thinking and it's probably not going to make sense, but like, have Let's say you've played a video game, maybe, I don't know, fucking Mario Kart, that there's, like, different worlds, or, like, Crossy Road, that there's different worlds, you know what I mean? But, like, 
they all have the same goal. You're just trying to make it to the end of the race and cross your road. You're trying to make it to the end and not fucking die. I think that's what life is like. Because there's so many different people, so many different, like, worlds that we're living in, that we're trying to survive in. But we all have the same goal, I guess. Like, we all just want to survive. Everyone just wants to, like, get through it and get, you know? You know what I mean? It's like, fuck, I don't know. This is why I like making Get Ready With Me's in the morning. Because now I'm, like, woken up. So I'm not going to be sleepy, you know, because my thoughts are working. I like being able to talk and not being interrupted. That's great. Okay, bye guys. Happy October 3rd. Do my makeup with me. It's 3.31 and I'm only just about to get ready. I actually used this, uh, used this, used this moisturizer for the first time today. And oh my God, it's so nice. I love it. So I'm using it again. It's from L'Oreal. It's the Revita lift filler and it's so nice like my skin i'm gonna give you guys some tips when it comes to starting social media whilst i get ready with you so first of all i feel like everyone is talking about how they want to be influencers and when they grow up they want to do this and that and honestly i love that so many people want to get involved and start doing what i do and what so many other people do but obviously it takes time and a lot of people just expect it overnight and give up very, very easily. Honestly, if I started and gave up straight away, like I see so many really, really good influencers do, I'd never be where I am now. I literally started when I was a child and I've always dreamt of doing this and I've never ever gave up on what I want to do. My biggest top tip is to not give up because genuinely... There is so much that you can get out of doing it, but it doesn't take a day to get everything. Like, it takes a long, long process. And I know it's exactly what I just said before, but genuinely, it is the biggest, biggest tip I could give someone. The one thing I would say is when you start doing social media, stay grounded. Don't get too big for your boots. Don't expect and want and want and want. Take every single day as it comes. If one day you're doing really, really well and the next you're not doing as well, don't get disheartened, don't get cocky, anything like that. The person you are at the beginning is who you should stay without. And I feel like a lot, a lot of influencers forget that. Interact with your two followers. If you've got two followers and they're constantly texting, constantly commenting, interact with them because they will stick with you for a lot longer than if you were to just ignore them and once in a blue moon reply to a comment follow trends i feel like people just want to do what they want to do which is amazing do what you want to do but if there is a trend out and you think actually i could incorporate this into my own content do it because doing trends is what tiktok and i don't know youtube really like to see they push you more when you're doing things that are very very in at the moment posting consistently don't post for a week straight and then not post for another few months you have to be posting every single day or at least every other day like you need to be consistent you can't just give up on it straight away and you can't pick and choose oh today i'm going to post this many videos and next week i'll post another lot but i'm not going to post in between you have to be consistent with it post organically for brands they'll notice you quicker if you're already using their products you're already promoting their products without being on a payment basis don't just expect to get all money and all gifting straight away let me know if you want a part two hey guys get ready with me so I didn't post a get ready with me today. Well, I'm posting this one, but anyways, there wasn't one this morning because I wasn't feeling school. Like honestly, I was like, fuck school. I don't want to go today. So, you know, I didn't go because like, you know, I just wasn't feeling it. And by the way, this is my first absence of the year. So I'm probably like not going to miss any more this semester just because I want to exempt. But like, I just wasn't feeling school, you know, like sometimes I have my days. Anyways, if you hear yelling in the background, it's because my mom and sister are fighting. And it's because my sister flushed cardboard down the toilet, so. <laughs> Anyways, I figured out what was breaking me out. It was the Glow Recipe Toner. And I think it was just because, like, the fragrance. Because the other day, I just used it on my cheeks to, like, test out if that was the issue. And I was breaking out in my cheeks. I went to Costco with my mom today. And... I got a 15 pack of Alani's. These things are so much better than Celsius. I honestly cannot stand Celsius. Like Celsius is so overhyped. It tastes like literal shit. Like I'm being so for real. This is my last week of driver's ed and I'm so like excited for it to be over. It's so boring. I like, I just can't. 
but I literally have to go back to do my drive times because I have to have like 10 hours of driving time with them, but at least the learning part is almost over. I guess the only thing I'm really scared to do is parallel park because I'm going to end up hitting somebody or something. Like, there's no way in hell that I'm going to be able to do that. Like, I'm already a bad driver as it is. I'm only going to do one layer of mascara today because I really don't feel like taking 30 minutes to do my mascara because I'm just going to driver's ed and I don't know anybody there. Today, I cleaned my room because I never have time to do that anymore because right after school, I have driver's ed and I don't get off the bus till 4. So like, and then I have homework too. So I'm glad my room's clean. I totally just put my blush in the wrong spot. I literally cannot function in a dirty room. I just like haven't had time to clean it and it's been so annoying because after driver's ed, it's eight and I usually shower and eat dinner. So I'm glad I got to stay home and do that today because now I can actually function in my room and not cry every time I see it. I was gonna use this, but I don't think I need it. The main reason I decided to stay home was because we weren't really doing anything in math like i knew all we did was like review today so i was like if we're not doing anything in math i'm staying home so that was basically the deciding factor of me wanting to stay home i really need to get my eyebrows done it's so bad anyways guys wish me luck at driver's ed today because uh we're probably gonna be writing a million things i feel like i never get to use my laneige sleeping mask because i always forget at night like it just doesn't come to mind but anyways bye guys cover dark circles and freckles instantly let's glow with it cosmetics foundation here's my shade and this foundation is like a full package deal this is a nude glow foundation it has color correcting medium coverage skin tint brightening glow serum and spf 40. hey guys get ready with me for school okay y'all i'm super super tired today i'm actually not that tired it's just that I'm like kind of sick but it's fine because I don't have actually that much classes for today I finish at 4 p.m. so that's fine but I finish by sport and um, we're doing gymnastics I just hate sport whatever it is also we have two hours of sports anyways I also have so many things to take in my bag for today I think I'm gonna change bag actually because the one I have might be actually too little I have to take my sport outfit and now all the teachers want us to take our books to work with and the books are like so heavy I would like to honestly not take them but I know he's just gonna yell if I don't so I have to take them also this contour might look too orange for me actually but it's Chanel so who cares gotta use this one from um, Charlotte Selby also y'all my bedroom is finally all done so now I can do my room tour if y'all want um, we did some little things like that, like to cover my window. And yeah, now I have like more storage things and all. Okay, I'm gonna do my brows. Um, I'm gonna be using my deep brow pomade for today. <coughs> also, y'all, I'm going to Sephora with my boyfriend, I believe, um, Thursday. And we're going in train because we have to go to Lyon. So Lyon is like the second biggest city in France, I believe. And it's like one hour from where I live. Because I don't have a Sephora in my city, it's way too little. We're doing settings right now. Basically, I'm gonna have 25% off of all the brands. Because I have like the highest um, point thing, you know. I don't think this works for other countries. This is maybe just in France, but this is how it is. I saw Charlotte Tilbury did like a new palette. I really, really need it. I don't really do eyeshadow often, but I really still need it. Um, and it's gonna be like Christmas, New Year and all soon. So I'm gonna need like some good palettes to do my makeup. Okay, my eyes are starting to hurt so bad because I didn't put my glasses. Okay, I'm done guys, bye.